talk about a throwback. I sat here and I did this intro a long time ago. So, welcome to the video. Now, you guys know that I'm rebuilding my motorcycle right now. Um, and one of the things it needed desperately is, well, fairings. Now, originally it had extreme fairings. They were just, you know, blood red fairings on there and I love them and I got them from these guys, extreme fairings. The thing that everyone knows about fairings that are not OEM is they don't typically fit 100%. Now, these guys, the reason I contacted them again is because of how well they did fit and how well they did look when they were on my bike and they were red. So, we're gonna put these on. They should fit the same way. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what comes with the kit and, well, once again, is it worth your money? Is it worth your 600 bucks? That's how much you can get these for. And uh, without further ado, let's get working. I have sunglasses on my head toes. So just to preface, these are fairings for a CBR 954 double R, so like 2002, 2003. Um, this was the design we wanted to go with, so gray with some red accents. I personally like the red ones better, which are over there. Um, but this is what Chris wanted, so this is what Chris is gonna get. They look great, man. So I'm um, looking forward to putting them on the bike, if we can ever figure out that wiring harness to take off. So the one thing that we don't have for this fairing kit um, that usually is um, included, we don't have a bolt kit, so it must have just not come. That's okay, we have extra bolts that we'll use and ones from the previous one that did come with it. And so. bolts! Huh? Oh yeah, they're the bolts. Bolts. So we'll use what we have until oh. they run out. So to give a bit of an update, we've got this side fairing on, for the most part bolted on. This is kind of just chilling there. This is actually bolted on. Because of the crash that this bike had, it's a little bit off to the left. But once we put all the other fairings on, it's gonna be very, very hard to notice. The bike still rides straight, there's, so there's no issue there. Um, this side is coming on. Um, the biggest problem, like I said, we don't have the company that forgot to send us a bolt kit, which you know I'm you know dealing with right now. But we're making it work. You know we've got some we got some older bolt kits that we're using to throw it all together. So this is the bracket, right, for uh, the fairings. That bracket is supposed to line up with that bolt. That is a um, there's a problem there. Can a you significant stop crashing problem. your bike. Extreme fairings, are they worth your money? The end question that everyone wants to know. And to put it simply, to put it blunt, to save you time, 
yes, they are. And the next time I need fairings for whatever bike, for whatever reason, I will get it through them. And the reason is because it's an extremely good value for your money. It's $600 fairings that the paint looks good. You know, you can get a custom job if you want for no extra charge. You just have to show them what you're looking for and they'll replicate it. And they do fit. <laughs> they don't, it isn't like you put them on and they don't fit nearly or they only fit kind of or you have to, you know, have three people push on one fairing to get it in place and then you bolt it down and hope it doesn't, you know, bulge after you let go of it. They do fit. They do line up. Now, we had a bit of, you know, a couple issues here and there simply because the bike was in a wreck and a couple of things were bent. But, you know, they fit. <laughs> Honestly, this set fit better than the first set that was on my bike. On a scale of one to 10 on how everything lines up, I'd say I'd give it a nine. Um, it's missing one point because there's a couple edges that don't perfectly line up together that are, you know, like they're like a, like a millimeter, it's like minor shit. Like someone would have to be staring at it or you have to point it out to them and say, oh, that doesn't line up, you know, that kind of thing. You don't notice it from, you know, one foot away. <laughs> The color is good on the fairings. They don't look cheap. I mean, I, there's a stigma, you know, with, you know, Chinese fairings. And I'm not gonna lie, there's plenty of sets out there. You go on eBay and you see $300 sets of fairings. This is not a $300 set of fairings. <laughs> this is worth every dollar of $600 fairings. Besides the fact that they forgot my bolt kit when they shipped it, you know, there was no issue. I didn't have a problem with the fairings. I enjoyed them. I definitely think no matter what fairing kit you get, you know, whether it's from them or anybody else, I suggest obviously you should get it from Extreme Fairings because I've had two good experiences now with them. Um, you should probably have someone else help you install them, whether they know how to do fairing stuff or not. It does, it's a little bit hard every now and then to get a fairing, hold it in place, bolt it in. You know, it is kind of, I would say, a two-person job. I had a couple friends around at the time, so it eased the process. And we were also rebuilding other parts of the bike at the same time. But all in all, you know, the fairings were, I was very satisfied with the fairings. And like I said earlier, the next time I need fairings, whether it's for whatever bike I get in the future or whatever the case is, I will go through them because, you know, they have high quality fairings and for not too much money. So that's the end of the video. As I said, fitment, I would give it a nine. The packaging, I would give it, I'd probably give it an eight. And I, there probably could have been a bit more bubble wrap inside there to hold them in place, but there's no damage on them coming. I'm just seeing from when I open them. Installation difficulty, I would definitely suggest you have a second person around. If you, everything's in place and your bike's not damaged and you're just taking the fairings off and putting new ones on, I'd probably give it about a, you know, the difficulty about a seven or eight. You know, it's not an easy process to do, but installation seven or eight. And then overall, look, I would give it a nine. It's missing one point because I think there could have been just a tad bit more depth than the color, but you know, you shine a light on the color, you know, it, it gleams pretty well in the sun, but I personally think there could have been a, a little bit more, but you know, that's just me being nitpicky. <laughs> um, the fairings look great. I'm very, very satisfied with them. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. It was cool finally getting all the fairings on the bike because that, after those fairings were on, we also had the rest of the bike done as well, besides wrapping the tank and everything like that. So the bike was, it was done, you know, it was, it was a monumental thing to finally see the bike all completely together, ready to go to the new owner. And it just, you know, completely new look, completely different from what it looked like, Bad Bitch Mark 1, now it's Bad Bitch Mark 2, I don't know. You know, that's old stuff. But anyway, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, all y'all have a fantastic day.